Hello, uh, my name is Mark. Welcome to my 2015 Tab trailer. I love this little trailer, um, but it does have some shortcomings. One of those shortcomings is down here, it only has a five gallon water tank. Um, that's not a whole lot of water. In fact, that's a very little bit of water. If you try to go a whole weekend on five gallons, you're going to have some trouble unless you're really, really frugal with it. Now, that's not a problem, and you can, can you can bring jerry cans of water in your truck, and you can continue to fill it over and over as the weekend goes by. Um, and that's okay, but it's kind of a pain. Um, so what I did is I took some very close measurements, and if you look here, you can see that I've got some space there, I've got some space there, some space there, and some space on top, that that tank um, doesn't exactly fit in that cabinet. In fact, we've got some space to grow. That existing um, tank is a 15 by 13 by 7 inches at 5 gallons. I contacted a company called Plastic Mart online, and they custom build tanks. This tank is a 9 gallon tank. It's 16 by 14 by 10, so it's 3 inches wider, 1 inch taller, 1 inch wider, and it's 9 gallons. So I'm going to go from a 5 gallon tank to a 9 gallon tank, and this tank, if I've done my measurements right, this tank will fit exactly in that spot without any modifications at all. We should just be able to leverage that guy in there, and it will just fill up that cabinet. Um, much better. Now, Plastic Mart's great. I've done business with them before on previous trailers. Um, these are polypropylene tanks. Really, really tough. They will custom make whatever size fittings you want, and they'll place them anywhere you want on the tank. So I put these fittings exactly where they need to be for where this new tank goes in there. Everything should just screw right on in. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take that tank out, and we're going to put this tank in. should be no big deal, and I should go from 5 gallons to 9 gallons of water. And good deal. First thing you want to do is remove that strap, screw in the bottom. After taking that strap off, the next thing you want to do is take the hose clamp off the filler neck. Okay, and now that we have the filler neck off, my next thing to take off is down here. That's the... Uh, drain, that's the pickup where water comes out into the trailer, and on the back, back there, I've got another piece of PEX, that's the vent. So I'm going to take off the vent, and the, the um, drain, and then that guy should just come right on out. Also to get this tank out, as we're making progress here, this is the uh, latch for the drawer. Um, we need to take that latch off, so and I there we have it. The tank is now out of the cabinet. Here's the original tank. Um, you just have to spin off the supply line. No big deal. PEX, um, you can see that supply line down there. Now PEX allows a certain amount of twisting, so no problem taking that off. You can just spin it off. I left the vent line on, and it just pulled up. You can see the hole that it just pulled up out of. So I just pulled the vent out. I'm going to put these fittings. There's my new tank, and you can see that it's just a little bit bigger than the other one. should just fit in that cabinet. It's going to take me a little bit of jostling and stuff to get it in there, but fitting should go just fine. Making progress. Okay. Here we go. We're continuing to uh, clear out and make room for the new tank. One of the things that you're going to have to do is this. This is the face of the uh, cabinet. Get that in there. I'm going to need that space, so there's just some screws like these that go into pockets. See those pockets? You remove those screws, and then this face just lifts right out. So now my new tank, I don't have to wedge it in there. I can just slide it in. Next thing I'm going to have to do, if you look in the back of the cabinet, I've got the wire that runs to the fridge um, and the outlet up on top. You can see that they're down here. I need to move them back, um, back up in there. No big deal. I have access to both sides. I just drill new holes, run the wires up farther, and my new tank should go right in. Good to go. Okay, as we continue on, you can see how to get the extra room here. 
these cables that used to go to the uh, to the fridge used to come right here. So I've cut a little slot and moved them back. My tank is 10 inches wide. I've now got 11 inches of space, so that tank will fit right in there. Let's give it a test fit. Now, uh, look at that. We are cool to go. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to hook up the two lines in there, reach in from the top to do that. Um, the pickup line, the fill line, and the vent. And we're good to go. Nine gallons of water. I just doubled my water capacity, nearly so, in an afternoon. We'll see you later. See you next time. Thank you.